There are so many things I want to say to you. So many things I want to tell you. So many things that my heart is pouring out. I have such a hunger and a thirst to serve you and to tell you truths they want to silence us. They want to silence us so we don't speak the truth. So we don't share the wisdom of God. So we don't share the knowledge that he has to offer us. But today I'm going to tell you. Bottom line, Jesus said I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man enters into the kingdom of God but through him. Period. Enough said. We live in a world that is driven by fear. We live in a, a government that depends on us to react and to thrive on the fear-driven tactics that they have devised. But our job is to trust God and only God, to lean on his word and his truth, and not to fear. I can't tell you how many times in the Bible it says, fear not, fear not. God told us, fear not. If the most high, holy Father God told us to fear not, don't you think we should listen? I do. We're surrounded by so many distractions. So many, so many. We have look here, look there, look there, look over here, look over yonder. And there are distractions. And we are to be on alert in our armor always seeking the truth, always seeking the truth. Do not listen to mainstream media. Do not listen to these jackals that come around and tell you, oh yeah, this is gonna happen on this date and this is gonna happen on that date. No man knows the date but God. No man knows nothing but God. So are you going to trust him or are you going to trust man? I'm going to trust God because he has never forsaken me, ever. I've forsaken him, but he has never, ever left my side. So I'm going to trust God and I'm going to lean on him and his understanding and his wisdom, his infinite, holy, holy wisdom that guides me and brings me through the trials of life each and every day. And when I feel like I'm defeated, I know I can get on my knees and go to the Father and just talk to him and tell him I'm having a rough day, my father. I need your help. And he's there. Do you go to your knees and talk to the father? Because if you don't, I would suggest you do. He is holy. He is holy. He is not some thing that you take lightly. He is the most high God, the Father, who created heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. He is God, the Father. 
we get all wrapped up in our humanity. We get all wrapped up in our, our oh, I broke my finger, I broke my hand, or, you know, I, I lost an animal, or, oh my gosh, I can't feed them today. What do I do? You go to God. He created them. He created everything. Go to the Father. Go to the source. He's our source. He's our provider. And he loves his children. He loves us. He loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever would believe on him, Jesus, would not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. I think of the disciples and all the trials and tribulations they went through. And Jesus came along and he said, follow me. Follow me. Come walk with me. It's not going to be an easy road. But come walk with me and learn. Learn my ways, the Father's ways. And you will be saved. And you will see things through eyes that you have never had before. And they did. And when time came for the trials and tribulations in their life, they were rejoicing. They were rejoicing because they were knowing that they were going to join the King of kings and Lord of lords, who sits on the right hand of the Father. Please don't be afraid. Don't let man's laws and world consume you and distract you. Have faith. Have faith. Have we become like a Thomas? who doesn't believe anything, who questions everything, who doesn't have faith in anything. Our finances are blowing up. We don't have money to buy food. We don't have money to pay our mortgage or our rent. We question everything. But Jesus said, Follow me. He said, follow me and I will show you the way. I will show you the answer. Don't doubt. It's okay to question. But don't doubt. Have faith. Have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Yeah, mustard seed is so tiny. Trust God. He's got this. Is your marriage failing? Is your relationship crumbling? Is everything you've worked so hard for falling apart? Get on your knees and ask God. Seek him with all your heart, your soul, and your spirit. Seek him and fear not. I will tell you, he hears you. He longs and desires to hear you and to answer you, not to just hear you. He wants to answer you. He wants to fulfill the desires of your heart. Turn it over to the Father. Please don't be afraid. 
please don't live in the man-made feardom that this society has created. Please do your homework and get understanding. Don't listen to all these people that are telling you to do this and do that and do this and do that. Go to the throne of the Most High God. He is the one with the answers. Our Father seeks you. He seeks you out and he desires to have you in his kingdom. And he desires to love you. No matter what you're going through, no matter what the trials and tribulations are that you're going through, he desires to help you. He hungers and thirsts to help you. So, my plead to you is to seek him, to search him out with your heart, your soul, and your spirit, and to come to know our Yeshua, Jesus, the most high and holy Lord and Savior, and to come to know his Father. in the most intimate way and to know that no matter what this world has to offer, he's got your back. He's got your back. I want to scream out to the world, do not fear. Do not fear. The Lord is with you. And he longs and desires to help you. He loves you. And I love you. Jesus doesn't care who we were or what we've done. We are forgiven. And he receives us. He called the sinners. The 12 disciples were sinners. And they were not pure and holy. And either are we. But he has called us into his kingdom. Will you accept his offer? Bottom line. Choose this day whom you will serve. Choose this day. Will you serve the powers of darkness or will you serve the Most High God? Choose this day. Think about it before you make your decision. I choose God.